Hey everyone, my name is Emily. My name is Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Now take a moment and look at where we are. We're not on a boat. We're not in salt water. Check There's nothing out. blue around us. It's green. It's green and brown. And we're on feet. We're walking. We're on foot. We're on foot. Check this out. Today we're changing things up. You guys might definitely notice that for us because you always see us on a boat, offshore, saltwater fishing, but we have crazy weather this week. So we were like, you know what? Let's just go freshwater fishing. We're going to look for some bass. We're going to look for some peacocks. I'm really not sure what we're going to find. Today I'm using my lightest tackle saltwater rod. So don't hate that I don't have bass gear, okay? We're working on that one. <laughs> Got my lightest yeah, tackle we saltwater rod. We don't have any uh, bass freshwater stuff. So Unfortunately, we, we don't. Gotta make do. Well, we, we do have. do have. You say it, Emily. We do have some nice rods. We have some cool custom rods that we got made from Rain Shadow and they're super, super light tackle rods that are going to be great to take freshwater fishing. I haven't had a chance yet to use them in a video so you guys will have to see that. Amanda, where are you going? You gotta follow me. She already got, she already got, we got some shiners. This is our, our bait. We got some shiners in here with our Fabril bait station. Look how cool this is. All right, I gotta go follow Amanda. She's already, she's already trying to catch fish. Sorry, I didn't wait for you. Did you cast it out already? I casted it out already. <laughs> wow. Well, I did it because shiners, they are really fragile based and they die quickly. And as soon as I pulled it out of the water, I realized, well, I should probably just get this out in the, in the lake, in the pond, whatever you want to call this. Um, hopefully we catch fish. We have caught fish here before. This very spot. This is very spot. That's why we're here. Been here before. It's worked before. Wow, it's windy today. It is so windy today. My look, bait is just at, blowing away. Hair. Your hair's blowing in the wind. Look at the look at the the grass, guys. You can see how much the grass is blowing too. It's blowing. I think it's blowing like 20 knots today. So that's why we decided to change it up, go to a lake. While Amanda sits there with her bait in the water, I'm gonna get myself a shiner on my rod. We are trying to fish on the bank. You can see there's a lake over the lake over there, and we're putting our baits in the grassy area around the lily pads, any type of structure. So instead of saltwater fishing on wrecks, the structure we're getting here is things like lily pads. Spot number two? Spot number two already. We started off spot number one, which is where we started last time and had really good luck, but it's very windy, so we're trying to find good spots with, because of the wind, basically. Try to hide from the wind today. Yeah, so we have this little, what do you call this, Amanda? A bridge? A bridge? It's not really a bridge. Oh, it's not, well, yeah, I guess it's, it's a. Hold on, I gotta climb over this. This is where, uh-oh. <laughs> it's too high. How did you get over this? I just did. Just sit on it. <coughs> there you go. This is where Emily caught her first peacock I bass. I caught my first ever peacock bass right ever. here. By myself, I was so proud. We didn't have anybody helping us. Just came out and I was like, I'm gonna try and catch a peacock. If you stand here, you can look straight down and sometimes you can see them. Now I don't see any right now, but I'm literally gonna drop my bait. Straight down. We <gasps> see a peacock. I lost my shiner. Lost your shiner. Gotta get on the shiner. I am the shiner, but I see a peacock. There's two. Where? <gasps> They're right oh, there. There's two peacocks. Oh my gosh. <sighs> if you look right on the other side of those lily pads, there's two peacock bass. All right, gotta land them. Gotta catch them. They're swimming under the lily pads right now. There they are. Swimming through the grass. See that? We've got some peacock bass. Amanda ran to go get a shiner. Oh, so cool. So cool. What I really love about fishing like this is it's sight fishing. You literally see the fish. And you run, you go get your bait, and you put it down there. All right, Amanda, you ready? They still They're there? moving around. Look, see them? Don't spook them. There's like three of them. Not gonna spook go them. Go cast right outside those lily pads, okay? Perfect. perfect. That was perfect. Now just let him, let Ooh, him sit there. Here he comes. He's looking at it. He's got, oh, in he's got mouth. his mouth. He's got I his can mouth. see him. He's got his mouth. You ready? I'm ready. Close the veil and reel. Close the veil and reel. Oh, oh. Reel. lost him. Lost him. Get another shiner. Let's try this again. Oh, reel him in. Oh, yeah. We yes. got a one! Yes! We got a peacock! Okay. I might need to tighten my drag. I can't even get him up. Here we go! Get him up! We got, got a peacock! Check it out. Oh boy. He's 
spicy. All right, look at this. Cut the first peacock. Peacock bass. Look at So cute. He's nice size. Little baby. Little baby one. Check this out, you guys. Beautiful little peacock bass. Not very large in size, but still pretty. And this here is their false eye. You can see it looks like they have two eyeballs. They got a real eyeball. Oops, they got a real eyeball. And then a false eye. Let's go, how, how about we walk down there and let him go, Amanda? Let's, yeah, not, let's not throw him from up here. Let's be as speedy as we can. This way? No, no, no. Go no, straight. yeah, let's not. Come on, follow me. Here we go. Watch out for the muck. You're gonna don't sink in the muck. I know, I'm being careful. Ready, you got it? I got it. Let's release him. Let him swim. Go on, little fella. Go on, little fella. Oh, Here he goes. he's gone. And he's gone. He's gone. All, All right, right, Emily, it's your turn. I saw about four or five There's of them. There's a lot of them over there. Any of them big? There were a couple there nice were, ones. There was a bigger one. I might have even seen one. a largemouth bass, so let's keep fishing this spot. This is my favorite spot to fish out here. Getting your shiner? Getting my shiner. All right, look at how I hook this shiner. I'm gonna go up the chin through the top of the mouth. Can you see that? We can see that beautifully. All okay. right. I would cast the same spot I casted. All right. You'll see them go right for your bait. You ready, as soon Amanda? As, that, as soon as this thing lands in the water, I'm just gonna pitch them out. They're gonna go after your bait. Go. Nice cast. Perfect. Now just leave it there. Oh, oh, look there. I see one. He's going okay, to good. it. He's going, He's going for going it. He's going to it. He's looking at it. He hasn't taken it yet. I'm waiting for him to take it. This is the best part. Moment of truth. I heard thunder. No, my shiner got me. My shiner swam straight into the grass. Aww. Oh man, look oh, what you man. got. You caught, you caught salad. I caught salad. The shiner still looks good, so let's get this salad off. They're eating it, let them have it. They're trying to swallow it. There's, these guys are small guys. These, the fish we're catching are small, so I think they got it. They're looking at it. Really, you see them? Yeah. They're all underneath the lily pads. Like, they all instantly turn and they're looking at your bait. So just leave them there. Oh, they're going for it. They're going oh, yeah. for it. Oh yeah, he's got his mouth. All right, give him a minute. Right, he's running with it. He's taking it. He's taking it. He's got it. He's definitely taking it. I'm letting him have it. Okay, this one really has it. Oh, you got him on. I got him on. I got him on. I got him on. I got him on. Oh my goodness. He's the yes. I got him on. Nice job. Come you on, ready? Get him. Land him, land him. Yes. 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 I got a peacock. You got a peacock. I got a peacock. Oh, look at how cute he is. How's it feel? It feels great. I love catching fish. Me too. Wow, that was a pricker. That thing hurt way more than I thought it was gonna hurt. Oh boy, that was a good cast, Amanda. That cast was like on that top was, of their, that like was on top right of their on head. Top of their heads. I wish the camera could pick up. Don't you wish the camera could pick up how well, how much you can see these fish down there? Like literally. So Amanda, you got them on. Oh yeah. You got them. I got them. Got them on. I got them. We got peacocks. We're in peacock central right now and they're growing. <laughs> the peacocks are growing. They are getting bigger that. by the cast. Come on. Ha ha. We got the hook out. Got the hook out. And he's bigger. They're growing. You can see he's by the bigger. Minute. You can even tell that he's a bigger male because he has his little knob, his protein filled knob on the top of his head. Such a beautiful bright fish. He's very green. This one's very green. I love it. I love how orange their gills are. It's so pretty. Okay, time to release this one. Do you think I can go down here or am Just I gonna- Don't fall, please. Don't fall in the water. We got gators in Florida. Gators and snakes and wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this is as far as I'm gonna get. Okay. I love Just you, Make sure Mr. you get him in the water. And he swam so fast. <laughs> Okay, uh, how do I get back up? This was not a good idea. I've had better ideas. Emily, can I have a hand? You need help? Coming. I feel like if I... Yeah, I need help. Unless I get on all fours. There you go. <laughs> Alive. I made it. No spiders? Are no there spiders. spiders on me? No. no. Sending my bait out, guys. Let's try and catch another one. Let me see if I see him. I don't I see him on the other side of the lily pad. All right. To the other side of the lily pad. Perfect. All right, now we just gotta wait. He's already got it, he darted for it. He's going with it, letting him eat it. Letting him really get his dinner. Give him a few seconds, let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. I'm gonna close the bale and I'm gonna slowly reel. There's no setting the hook with these hooks. It's real, real. And he's on, he's on! I got another peacock! Woo, 
Yes. Yeah. I got a peacock. You ready, Amanda? I'm coming. Here he is. We got a peacock. <laughs> nice job, Emily. <laughs> oh, he's hooked perfectly. Perfect. Look at how beautiful. Let me hold him nicely for you. This is Peacock Central today. Look nice at this. Nice fish. You let him go? You ready? All right. Come here, little guy. Get ready. And, and he's off. He's off. Oh. Oh, that one on. I got yes. one on. Yes. Yes. That one that ate one. fast. He ate so fast. Bring him up, bring him up. They're just growing. They're growing. They're, They're growing. constantly growing. He darted Guys, for Guys, we it. were like, okay, we've caught like four or five fish here at this spot. Let's I think we're gonna go spot. try another spot. And Emily was like, okay. Oh, there's a gar right there. Where? Right Whoa. there. Oh. Oh man. You see it? I just saw it. He went to the grass. He just went into the grass. Let your peacock All right. go. Check out this peacock. Hey guys, look, the peacock matches my nails. Oh, that's so oh, cool. cool. Last bait we're using at this spot in an effort to catch the gar, which you cannot see, but he came up right up from underneath all of the plants and then went back down underneath them all. Where? The gar is on the surface. He's on the surface. I don't see it. Reel up just a little bit. Reel up just a little. Can you please point to where the gar is? There's a, there's a glare. He's just right there. Where? Like, oh, okay, hold on. Try to get your bait right in front of him. Gars yeah. will eat dead bait, so I don't know if he wants to eat. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me reel a little it. bit, reel bring it closer to him. Bit. So he sees it, <gasps> he's looking at it, he went right past it. So he sees it, <gasps> he's looking at it, he went right past it. He swam right over it. I don't think he cares for it. I really hope you guys can see this gar in the frame. If not, I'm going to go ahead and have a picture of a gar that I've caught in the past pop up so you guys know what they look like and how cool they are. Try one more time, Emily. This gar is super curious. Drop it right there. Leave it right there. He's coming towards you. Yes? 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 Yes! 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 yes. yes. Oh my gosh! No! Oh! No! Did he bit you off? I don't know. I had a feeling that was going to no. happen. Oh, he we just lost got away. Him. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. No. That was so sad. We got that gar to eat. He ate, but we lost him. I watched him swallow the bait. Yeah. You can't win them all. Gars have sharp teeth, so they probably just like ate that bait and ripped it ripped right it. off the hook. So like I said, I'm gonna have a picture of a gar pop up for you guys <laughs> in case we don't catch one today, but hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. And you can see one in live action. Oh yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this is hilarious. Look hey, at that. New species. We got a cichlid. You guys, look at this. New species for the day. In an effort to catch that gar that was down there. Oh no! <laughs> or that was down there. Oh no! <laughs> well, that was a Mayan cichlid. And let's have it pop back up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. That was a Mayan cichlid. And it's kind of cool that they look a lot like peacocks, honestly. They're not native species at all, neither are peacock bass. We have a lot of non-native species that live in these lakes here. We have the cichlids aren't native and the peacocks aren't native. The peacocks were brought over to control the cichlid population and they do eat the cichlids, so it did work from that perspective. However, they also ended up eating some of the, na the native largemouth bass. Is this gar gonna be the end of us? Oh man, this I'm, gar. Are we almost out of baits? Yeah, we're getting really low on baits, guys. Uh, yeah. What I really love about this fishing is the fact that anybody can do it. You guys, if you have if your dads and your kids want to go, your moms and your kids, your siblings, anybody can do this. Because we did it by foot. We did it by foot. All you need is some feet and some rod, determination. Find some fresh water and you can do it. Okay, so this here, guys, is a 4.0 wide gap hook that I was using. This was even maybe a little bit on the large size. You can use 3.0s if you want. We have 15 pound leader and all I did was tie a uni knot to it, which we have a uni knot video for you. And we just have a basic- Well, I wouldn't, I would not recommend this setup though. No, I recommend maybe go to your local, local tackle shop and just get a basic combo rod and reel for bass fishing. And really quickly, I'll show you how we hook these so you guys can go and do this yourself. This is our saltwater setup, like I said earlier, which we do have a light, light tackle saltwater setup that I wish we brought, but we didn't have it with us today. So next time we're gonna use that, but Emily's gonna hook this shiner really quick, show you guys how to do it. Under the mouth, through the top of the head, 
just like that. Just like that. I try All not right. to go too far into the back of the head because then it'll go through their brain and they die quicker. So go ahead. A little bit behind the while mouth. you have this bait hooked, let's cast. While it I out. have this bait hooked, final cast of the day. We're either not catching one and we're ending on a miss. We're catching one and we're ending on a win. What's cool about live bait too is once you have your bait presented nicely, it's kind of a waiting game. So you just wait and you let your bait do its job for you. Obviously, sometimes when you're fishing really grassy areas like this, you kind of need to babysit your bait and make sure he doesn't go around lily pads or things like that. Because when you do get that fish on, you start reeling, you could break off on some of the seagrass, seagrass, seagrass. I'm talking ocean talk, guys. On some of the, the lake grass, the foliage, the trees, the debris, all sorts of stuff. Okay, start reeling. No need to set the hooks. Oh no. Oh no, he got me around the lily pads. All right, let's be, let's work our way. Let's see. Oh, I All see right, your bait. See the bait. Guys, I had a fish. This is what I was saying about babysitting your baits. Your fish or your bait will run you around those lily pads. And that's when you got to make some moves. Unfortunately, I couldn't run down there. And just so you guys know, you don't have to set the hook with these hooks because they're wide gap, gap hooks. They set themselves automatically. It looks like your they bait do. did a little flippity do. Flippity do. He just got hooked down in the gill. Kind of weird. And, um, weird. Weird. So that's why Emily wasn't setting the hook, but actually letting her peacock bass take a minute to swallow her bait before Most she definitely. reeled. And unfortunately, we're ending today on a miss. On a miss. But guys, that's what we like to do with you. This is legit. This is real fishing. Sometimes we fail and we're not afraid to show you. We really hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that with all this information, maybe you can go out, take your kids out, go out with friends, whatever it is that you want to do on a windy day that maybe you can't get off shore. Maybe you just got to get your boots on and go for it. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and like and subscribe for more.